Hello everyone, this is Geeky Panda here, guys, with another one of my Panda's Opinions. Now with that, Twitch is another controversy right now, and it has to do with ads. Now, Twitch has recently announced that Twitch Prime members will start seeing ads in the streams they watch. With this, new Prime members will start seeing them sooner, while current members will start seeing them at a later date onwards. With that, they said, to, in order to avoid this as a Twitch Prime member, you can subscribe for a whole year in advance and you won't see any ads within that year until it's renewal. So basically, there's no comments on if you renew it, you'll see no more ads, or have, hey, after that year you, re you renewed, you'll start seeing ads. Either way, it's kind of a dick mood by getting, giving people, you know, uh, getting people to give you more money to do this. With this, they, uh, Twitch is compensating people by giving them $10 Amazon credits to help with uh, pre-ordering select games. Now, they also said, hey, if you want a ad-free experience watching streams, they said to go to Twitch Turbo, which the service is $8.99 a month. It has limited features than Twitch Prime. Here's the deal. Being an Amazon Prime member, I enjoy the great convenience of having Twitch Prime. Uh, you know, again, watching ad-free uh, ad streams is really awesome. Uh, getting a one subscription gift per month to my favorite subscriber, you know, which helps them out a lot, is awesome. But I don't really need the free games at all. These free games, they do not even redeem on Steam or other popular pla uh, digital platforms out there. But the Twitch app itself, and majority of the in-game loot, I don't really ever redeem because I don't care about them or don't play them as much. Again, I just want the ad-free streams to watch and the extra sub gift to, to go towards my favorite streamer. That's it. That's all I want out of my Twitch Prime membership. Now, I am afraid that this will cause stuff in the community. Basically, the small streamers are going to get hit the most. Uh, with a lot of people not wanting to go through ads after ads trying to find small potential streamers out there to watch and enjoy and discover, they will likely turn to the more popular ones because they know exactly what they're getting from a viewing experience. Small streamers, you don't know what you're getting. It is basically a gamble. So with this, people are going to turn more to the popular ones because, hey, I already know what I'm going to get. Also, current Twitch Prime members are also reconsidering their subscriptions as well, which either caused them a shift to Twitch Turbo or outright cancellations. And of course, people using ad blockers will be on the rise again. When you eliminate a key feature that people enjoyed, they will go to links to keep that enjoyment and convenience so ad blockers uh, users uh, will watch streams and Twitch partners and Twitch themselves won't get that revenue. Now, the reaction from the community has been mostly negative on all f social media fronts and even including the Twitch blog. If you go on uh, Twitter, if you go on the Twitch blog itself and go on Facebook, you'll just kind of see a lot of negative comments about this. Of course, how can you possibly fix this situation? Well, Twitch could either bring back the ad-free uh, feature and maybe restructure Twitch Prime to not have some of the other stuff that we don't really want or need, or they can give Amazon Prime members an option to choose whether or not they want to have Twitch Prime or Twitch Turbo. If they give me that option, I will obviously go for Twitch Turbo, and at least, hey, I can still keep my Twitch perks as long as I'm an Amazon Prime member. With this, if they don't fix it, people will just either cancel outright, the small streamers are going to get screwed over, or people, I've pointed out, they're just, they're just going to use ad blockers and send tips directly to the streamer that they are, want to support and cut out Twitch in the middle, which in reality makes Twitch lose more money. So in all fronts, this is a lose-lose situation for everyone, you know, especially the small-time streamers. I cannot imagine that Twitch did this and they're saying that this, this will be awesome, this will be great, you know, this will help the community a lot, you know. You know, more of what matters, and in reality, they're just shooting themselves in the foot and screwing people over. With that, though, that's going to be it for today. Please post down your opinions right down there in the comment box. I really do hope this doesn't last long, and if it does, you're going to see a little bit, or you're going to see some really awkward stuff pretty soon for Twitch. Other than that, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, folks, this is Geeky Pan here. I'm out. Stay geeky, my friends.